All right, good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So over the next two weeks, I'm gonna be staying here in Yamba in New South Wales. Um, we're staying at a mate's house and hopefully we're gonna get a ton of fishing done and catch some cool fish. So this morning, we're gonna be chasing some big flathead on the sand flats. So I've got a squidgy wriggler, little soft plastics, and I've also got a little prawn imitation paddle tailed soft plastic. So as I said, we're gonna be casting them along the sand banks and hopefully we'll pull some big flathead. And then later on, we also might try fish the rock wall with some smaller soft plastics to see if we can catch some tailor and maybe even brim. So I hope you guys enjoy these next few videos down here in New South Wales. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, so as you can see right here, this is the little prawn imitation I'm gonna be using this morning. Uh, it's got a little paddle tail, so hopefully that'll catch us some good flathead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start around this corner. There's a little bit of structure with these trees. And then there's also some mangroves right there, but then We'll go around the corner a bit and there's also some sand flats and you can walk right out there and in the middle there's a tiny little channel. So I think that that might be a good spot to try for hopefully some bigger flathead. Right, so as you can see I actually bought a new little Daiwa reel the other day. Um, you know I just bought a cheap $100 combo and just took the reel off that, spooled it up with some 12 pound Taz line and then um, yeah I just put it on my squid rod because it's such a good rod so yeah so far it's a, it's a real good combo. You know, should be able to handle any any flathead. All right, so as you can see, there's a real deep channel which kind of runs straight through the middle of the two mud banks. So it's low tide now. So right now, obviously, there's no water on them. But at high tide, these these banks get filled with water. So I'm hoping that all the flathead, which usually sit up here, have been pushed into this little little channel right here. So that's the plan anyway. All right, so I'll show you my technique on how I'm going to try catch these flathead. Um, by no means at all am I an expert. <laughs> I barely ever soft plastics fish, but so what I do is obviously just cast it out where I want it and then just give it two or three quick little hops and then just let it pause. A couple more hops, let it pause for a bit. And because it's a paddle tail, you don't really need to do too much with it, so sometimes I'll just give it a couple of flicks like this. And then that paddle tail will go like that and hopefully get the flathead's attention. Now for those who don't know how flathead hunt, so what they like to do is find a spot, so say probably their favourites are just on a bit of sand, so like a sand flat, or they like where a drop off begins like this, so the water goes down. And what they'll do is they'll just pick a spot and they'll just shake their body and kind of sink into the sand a little bit. And then whenever a bait fish or some food swims over top, they'll just go bang and smack it. So they're kind of a, they're a real ambush predator and they love to hide and wait for their food. Go on. Oh, I got off. Got him. First fish. There it is, flatty. Nice flathead, yes. Look at that, first fish. I just changed plastics. And yeah first flathead. Nice one. Yes, look at that. Be beautiful little flathead. As I said, first cast on the new the new little plastic. I just changed over to a little bit smaller one and that's probably a 40 centimeter flathead right there. So we'll get him off and get him back. All right, so there he is right there. Probably a 35, 40 centimeter flathead. So we'll put him back. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful little flathead. So he was right along the weed and sand bank. And yeah, first cast with this little new plastic I just put on. As you can see, I've walked out a fair way from that little bank. And there's a little weed line right in front of me. So I'm just casting the plastic along the weed now. And that was a good little flathead. Hopefully there's a few more hanging along this same little, same little ledge. 
So I had a few bites with a little bit bigger plastic, but the problem is I, I wasn't hooking up to them. So I think I think they were a little bit smaller flatted or smaller tailor and something or something. So as I said, I've changed to the smaller smaller plastic. It's actually a curly tail. So the last one I was using was a paddle tail. So there's a little bit of a difference, but a pretty similar action. Had a bite. Got one. Got another one. Yeah, it's hooked up again on that little plastic. I think it's another flatty. Might be around the same size. He's got a little bit of weight to him. Along that weed edge again. Another one. There we go. A bit smaller this one. Still another good little flatty. They seem to love this little curly tail. They didn't like that bigger plastic, that's for sure. We'll let him go and keep casting. See you, mate. Second little flatty. So I just moved up probably 10 meters from that last one I caught and another one along that same edge. So I feel like what they're doing is all the, both the flooded I've caught have been right along that weed and sand line. So I'm guessing they're just sitting in the sand, probably buried down and they're waiting for little fish to cross the weed into the sand and they'll ambush them. So good little spot we got, we got going on here. Hopefully we can pull one of the real big ones though. I just had another one just out there. Got him. Another one. Oh, he's jumping. There we go. Third little flatty. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. He's going nuts. <laughs> I just lost this flathead, I think. Oh, he's another good one. Look at that. He's probably 40 centimeters. Another good flathead. Oh, this is tons of fun. Look at that. Good flathead. So I'm not gonna, not gonna, I'm just catch and releasing today, so I'm gonna let every flathead I catch go, even though I'm sure he tastes good, this one. Look at that. Another beautiful fat flathead along that sand bank. All right, here's a closer look at him, probably 40 centimeters, I'd say. Another good little flathead. There he goes. He was around the same spot as that last one was. Come on, where's the big ones? Can we get another one, the next cast? Oh, we just lost, we had another one. Come on, come back. They're stacked up on this little corner right here. Oh, bot. Got him. Next cast. Oh, this is a better one. I think this is a better one. Oh yeah, this is a better one, I think. Yeah. Oh yes. Same spot again. And this might be a little bit bigger. Oh, awesome. Woo. Oh, he's near the surface. There he is. Yeah, he's a bit bigger again. Oh, this is a good flat air, guys. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is about a... F oh, look at this. This is a good flat air. Wow. Good flathead, look at that. Oh, he's going nuts. Oh yes, we got him. Same spot again, guys. Beautiful flathead. He's only just pinned. I'd say this guy's probably 50 centimeters. 
Look at that, everyone. That's a good flathead right there. Not too sure how big he is, but wow, what a good fish. He's in the, so that's three flathead from the exact same spot. Have a look at that, that's a good fish, everyone. Whew. I'm happy about that. I could, I could feel he was a bit heavier straight away. So anyway, we'll keep casting. Still got a while left. On that, oh, there he goes. <laughs> what a good fish, wow. All right, so this is the little lure was doing all the damage. This little, uh, I think it's a hundred mil squidgy wriggler in this little purple, purple color. That's the fourth flathead and that last one, he was a bit of a cracker, he was a good one. Oh, I just landed on a school of fish. Wow, what a good fish. Oh, I'm on again, we got another one. I think this is a smaller one. Another flathead though, I think. Wow, yeah, another flathead for sure. The flathead are pretty lazy usually, so they'll do a couple of head flicks and yeah, another flathead, look at that. A little bit smaller, but I'll take whatever. Oh, he almost spiked me. See you later, little guy. So the tide's actually coming in pretty quick. So as you can see, half my shorts are covered, but at this rate, I'm not gonna leave. So I'm gonna be underwater by the time I leave. So I've, I've caught four flathead just from this one little area right here. They must all be stacked up because there's a little channel which goes through here. So maybe they're just sitting at the end of it all together. How you going? <laughs> yep. Yeah, a little bit. This is a bit of a contrast to Victoria where I would have caught a bit of seaweed and nothing else by now. On again. Oh, little one. So I'll just put some more S factor on as you saw and first cast after that little flathead. He's only a small guy though. See you mate. Go on. On again, this is a little one I think. As soon as they hit the bottom, I was straight on. Yeah, this is a lot smaller one. Hadn't even taken a single click of drag, this one. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Oh, there he goes, straight off. Quick release. All right, guys, so, all right, so we've just left the sand flats area and now we're, um, we're kind of walking back to where we came from. The tide was coming in, so I was pretty much I was pretty much swimming in in the end. So as you can see, my jump is all wet, and my shorts are completely saturated. So yeah, we'll definitely be trying that spot again. The next low tide. Um, I only fished there probably an hour and a half and caught six six good little flathead and dropped a couple others. So it's definitely a lot of them around that area. On. We got something. I think it's a little flathead. Off the beach. Little gutter right here. And I was just casting a little soft plastic. Oh, it's not. It's a little. What is it? It's a little tailor. There we go. Thought I might get some of these. A little tailor. When these guys are sized, they are beautiful mulloway bait. So. If we get a big one, we'll probably keep him. But they have to be over 30 centimeters. On again. Probably another little tailor, I'm guessing, maybe. Oh, that's no, a flatty. Little flatty. Not bad. Look at that. Off the beach. Probably a little 30 centimeter flathead, maybe a little bit bigger, so not bad. There he is. Good little flatty. Let him go. See you, little mate. There he goes. Straight back out to the depths.
Oh, on. On again, on again. Swimming down current a little bit. Don't know what this is. So another Taylor. Yeah. Oh, there's another big one with him. There we go, second Taylor. A little bit bigger Taylor, this one. Still, he's not size, but got nasty little chompers, these things do. Let him go. I remember I was at Cows and I caught a Taylor and I thought it was a salmon and I grabbed it and it bit me. <laughs> like I put my hand in its mouth to lip it like a salmon and next minute I was bleeding. Now they have pretty nasty little teeth on them, those things. Alright, so that's going to wrap up the first video here in New South Wales. So as you saw, we caught some nice fish on the soft plastics this morning. So hopefully we can catch many more good fish here in New South Wales. Give the video a like if you enjoyed and also comment below any suggestions on what videos you want to see in the future. Anyway guys, see you in the next one.